Hello, what's going on? It's uh, 5.57, it's almost 6 o'clock. battery's about to die, so I'm going to go plug it in. Alright, we are hooked up with power and running. And I just want to talk a little bit about evolutionary psychology. And what this book, uh, and what David Buss really uh, thought it was basically um, very opinionated very biased and um, it's a training in very poor on the falsifiability area because they are trying to explain the world away which just isn't going to happen anytime soon so sorry David but evolutionary psychology is not going to take over the world as you s suggest in chapter 13 well you don't directly suggest it but the title of the chapter is uh, Toward a Unified Evolutionary Psychology. And this is where they try to s talk about cognitive psychology, which is going to go bye-bye, social psychology, which is going to go bye-bye, developmental psychology, so long, personality psychology, who needs that? Clinical psychology, it's evolutionary that can explain it, and finally, culture psychology, which is based on evolutionary psychology. So basically, everything's going to fall into this great, wonderful field that he wrote about here. And if this is true, we will see all the other fields crumble within the next decade or so, but it ain't gonna happen, so I'm not really worried. Um, one of the things that I'd like to talk about is uh, some of the cool studies that they did in this book, and uh, to see if you guys are actually interested in them. Um, uh, this stuff is kind of boring. This is just the notes that the girl, lady had from the professor had from the class, and I'm just going to read off the cool things. Um, see, this stuff was kind of boring because I remember the first class she just had to go over what evolution was. Really boring. And if you don't know, it's not survival of the fittest. It's what's most adaptive to the environment. It's not like we're fighting for something. It's just these chances. Just things just happen randomly, they mutate, and so happen to be adapted to the environment. It is by no means directed. Um, one of the cool things is, uh, well obviously you know that older men prefer younger women, and younger women prefer older men. Why is this? The reason is, is because old, younger women have more reproductive value, which means that they will be able to produce more children early on in their life than an older woman. So that's why you see Rupert Murdoch with a 34-year-old. That's why you see, you know, rich people, people of high status.